Hey, what's up, guys? Misunderstood Soul here. You're probably wondering, why am I in a blink like an Eskimo with a hat in my head? Well, I like the hat, but I'm pretty freezing. I am really, 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 really freezing right now, and it really sucks because I am... Damn, air conditioning is on, and I am terrible freezing. Now, the thing is, is that, I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of, uh, theories, conspiracy theories to talk about with you guys. And maybe a little bit of dark secrets. Is that basically dark secrets, um, they, they can wait for now. The one thing is about a conspiracy theory is, uh, uh, basically I have a conspiracy theory about my mobile personality. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I've been talking to this one person that I'm not going to say. Because I want to be respectful. Now the thing is that this person is a little bit different than me. And, um, for some reason, the conspiracy theory is, is that I wonder about something. Because basically when I was... In, um, which we call it, I was pretty much in, and yeah, why, I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah, I'm like a freaking Eskimo. Oh, yeah. I'm an Eskimo. I'm an Eskimo. Um, I had this conspiracy theory that this one specific person I talked to on PSN, right? Um, for some reason, yeah, he's gay, by the way, and like me, but the thing is that he's very feminine. Now, the thing is that Kitty comes out a lot. A lot. And... That makes me wonder. Now there are people who are saying, not most of on PSN or YouTube, but um, my old Twitter account, that um, what if Kitty is you? Now I have wondered about that a lot. And it makes me wonder, like, maybe she is me. Because she's a part of me. She's a split personality of mine, she's a multiple personality of mine, but maybe, you know, you never know, right? So basically, I'm trying to figure this out here because it makes me wonder now that people are starting to do more clues or kind of like, you know, theories and conspiracy theories. And it makes me wonder. So I'm thinking like, maybe Kitty is a memory of mine, you know? She's, um, I had an imaginary friend when I was a kid named Kitty. And she was the exact one you see in the picture here. Yeah. So basically, um, it, it's amazing because, um, I was born gay, I think, because I, I'm not gonna lie, I had my, um, things about girls when I was uh, younger. I had crushes on them, and it made me wonder, am I gay? Am I not gay? So it made me, like, a little bit weird and out confused as a kid, who wouldn't be? So basically, um, I made an imaginary friend named Kitty, and basically... It was the same one we see today. But the thing is, is that Kitty is the type that is overly feminine. She's overly sensitive. She's overly playful. Ring a bell? Maybe the, the light bulb is clicking up here real quick, right? Now, basically, um, it's pretty obvious that Kitty is, like, my persona as ch when I was a child. Now, the thing is, is that I'm not very feminine, am I? No. No, not every gay guy is feminine, guys. If you're wondering, we're not all feminine, okay? I mean, damn. We're not, like, always all feminine and shit like that. Basically, um, but I do hide it. I do hide being feminine. And Kitty is, like, I guess a gateway to show how feminine I really am. Now, um, this one person I talked to on PSN, and you probably know who you are. Uh, you're, like, emo, you know, you know you're... you're Feminine gay people make fun of you because your because they call you she and it's like kind of fucked up. But um, you probably will realize she comes in a lot. Now, basically, the, the the thing about Kitty is I wonder maybe that is me. Now, I'm not I'm not gonna say like oh yeah I can control like I'm a fucking robot and shit. You know, it doesn't work that way. Basically, Kitty, to my opinion, is when I was a kid how I was my persona. You know my how I was and I changed. And the reason why, why did I change? The reason why I changed was basically because I grew up. I had a lot of fights and families and stuff like that. And I said, you know what? Maybe we should start toughening up. You know, get all big and buff, man. Yeah. Get all big and buff. I did. I toughened up. So basically, that me is always gone. But maybe it's not. Kitty, I mean, every character I make in a book, guys, is connected to me so strongly. Kitty is pretty much identical to who I was as a kid. I was already feminine. I was, um, very playful, I was very, oh my god, I was sensitive, you guys are kidding me. Now, if you guys know what I look like as a kid, you wouldn't believe me, man. Snap, man. Holy snap. You would not, not believe me at all. 
I was like black lipstick, black fingernails, warm old black, skinny as well, I shouldn't say skinny, I was pretty fat back then, I was pretty chubby. But uh, like bought black hair, like all the way down, you know. A little eyeliner on the black like this, but I was a big fan of Michael Moore Romance and I was like very much gothic back then. Not emo it was very gothic. Um, I thought about very disturbing shit, you know, I was always bullied in school and, and that's what happened. So basically Kitty is ident identical to me till I think about it when I was a child because I was very much like sensitive. I was very playful and she this is the type she is, man. The voice she brings out it's you know crazy. Now, I do have a little clip that I want to show you guys, and um, if you want, check this out. This is, uh, before I show you this, this is pretty much Kitty, how I would sound, like, this is Kitty coming out, but this is how I would sound, which is creepy when I, I was a kid back then. Yeah, not weird. Now, basically, that was about three days ago, and the weird part was is that I wasn't talking to anybody. You know, that's weird. So it makes you wonder, right? Basically, um, the thing about Kitty is, you know, she's kind of like me. So I think she's like a memory of me. But the thing is, I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. I mean, I can even show you like right here. Yeah. I'll show you real quick. Yeah. quick. One second. Uh, no, I'm not gonna show you, man. That's kind of that's kind of messed up. Nah, can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah, I got my glasses on. Ding, 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 ding. Gonna see I'm pretty much legally blind here. So basically, um, that is key for you, right? So the reason why, um, Kitten is gonna be part of this video is because I noticed something very odd about Kitten. People said that she is a royal bitch. Now the thing is, is that she is. That's her character persona of her profile where I made her, like, in the book. So basically, she's gonna be, uh, I guess, and this is what's funny, man. I thought I would never have a character like her come out from a mobile personality. That is trippy. That is like... Oh, damn. Basically, uh, Kitty is the concept of a sweet 16 asshole. You know, she's like one of those girls that if you piss her off, she'll fuck up your world. And it sucks because it's like, um, damn. Now, I am not gonna lie, um, basically, Kitty is like a freaking trucker. Run down the road, da 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 da. Now, basically, uh, Kitty to me is. No, sorry, Kitten. Kitten to me is um, my badass side. My. As a lot of people say in PSN, my. You know. PSN. Which is. They eat. fucking hate this stuff. There you go. Right there. My PSN side, you know, PSN, they said it's my, it's like my thrill side. And I kind of noticed that too, because the way Kitten is in the book, she likes to party, for one. Uh, she likes to basically um, make love a lot. Um, she likes to be herself, and people like it, she probably say, uh, you know, fuck you. And she's mostly the type that she does more the hell she wants, man. So, I mean, seriously, guys. Remind you of anyone? Ding, 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 ding. So basically, that's Kitten for you. Now, the thing is that she wasn't really like that, per se. When my mom first met her when I was like a teenager, she, like, in real life, she said that 
it was very nice and heartwarming. But I guess when people kind of took a, a notice to her here in reality, you know, it's like saying, damn. So uh, they were kind of like, fu they were like fucking take advantage of her, like the, the personality per se, and I guess it kind of like pissed her off to the point that she didn't care anymore. She just said, you know what, fuck you guys, I'll just do whatever I want to do. Now, that's the problem because it's like no offense to anybody who did that. Uh, I have a feeling, but I'm not going to say, uh, this was like years back, though, um, it created a fucking role, bitch. Now, and the, and the funny thing is that, and the funny thing is that Keaton is a royal bitch now. <laughs> she, she pretty much hates everybody. Um, now, Fang. 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 If you guys don't know who Fang is, Fang is a book character of mine, and also is the personality of mine. I'll just say that, um, as I hear, crazy shit went down. No, not that. Get, the, get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. The thing is a wolf. He is like this. Yeah. He is a wolf. But he walks like this. He's like a human. He walks on legs. As people say, like, he talks like me. He walks like humans do. And he's a tough... As people say, he's a tough motherfucker. Now, the thing is that in the book, Thing is a gang member. He is a leader of a very, very violent gang. And they are very feared. Now, the thing is, is that little spoiler here from the book is that they are actually related to Kitten's gang. And they can pretty much rule the city. They're like the Joker of Harley Quinn. You know, they are freaking tough. And, um, that's that. But the thing is, is that basically, you should wonder, right? Because basically, about Fang is, he is, I don't know what he is about me, you know? And what you're saying, maybe they're emotions of mine. You know, maybe they're just like emotions, and it makes me wonder, conspiracy theory? Now, um, the thing is, is that, I don't know, it, it's just weird because I am nothing like Fang to my opinion, you know? I mean, the story goes to all those girls and guys who are gay and I, I don't know, he has a 13 inch shirt. Yeah. 13 inch now the thing is that um, I talked to someone on PSN and I, I know who it is. So if you know who it is, you know who it is. If you know who you are, you know who you are. Basically, it is kind of awkward because <laughs> I'll just say I have a boyfriend and I love my boyfriend with all my fucking soul. I would give my life for my boyfriend. So it's what goes on, I guess, like Vegas, but stick goes on there, stays on. I don't fucking know. All I know is that, look, man, I have a boyfriend. Um, it, it does make you wonder, like, now Thing isn't gay in the book, well he is, but he, he hides it a lot, you know, like I used to do it back when I was a teenager because I was bullied a lot, uh, so basically it makes me wonder if this is like my anger streak coming out. Every personality I, I think, as people tell me, because they, they think like how I think too, is they're thinking like, it's either a memory or an emotion or both, you know? So, I wonder if each personality has their own logic to my past or my emotion or both. Now, it makes me wonder. Now, for the dark secret of mine. Basically, for the dark secret of mine, um, it's pretty much a... How can I put this? The dark secret of mine is technically that every like everything about kitty is identical to me like i said before but there's a catch it turns out that i actually think i'm becoming kitty a little bit because i am becoming more feminine now not now because this is the guys this is youtube i mean this is the social map like social media apps man people watch me like a freaking film star you know so I don't really act the way I want to because I'm kind of afraid to show how to what I really am. Now the thing is that I am a very feminine gay. I really am. And I can't, you know, I can't be who I want to be, which is sad. And I am very sensitive. It makes me want to cry, man, because, you know, I feel like, hey, if I can't be myself on camera, what can I be myself ever, you know? Now the thing is, is that Kitty... I'm actually glad she comes out because it shows like my real side, how feminine I really am. But um, my boyfriend don't like feminine people. That's the problem. 
That's the problem. Now with these seasons, babe, I know what you're thinking. No worries. I won't be feminine, but it's just that... Now, now the thing about being feminine, guys, is that basically being feminine is like being free, you know? That's one thing I love about being gay is because if I say like, if I was, um, for instance, if I walked into a straight bar and I said to a guy, man, you're fucking hot. Bam. Now if I walked into a gay bar, I'm like, oh my god, you're so cute, man. Kiss on the cheek. You know, it's like you can be yourself. Now basically, um, I am a very open person, guys, even in real life, I really am. So it's, that's one thing you see on YouTube about me a lot. So basically all I know is, is that um, I do want to really be myself. I really want to show everyone around the world because I am a very open person about being myself. But I'm afraid because there are a lot of fucking haters. Now the thing is I am very sensitive. I'm like even beyond kitten sensitive. For instance, this guy, one guy commented on my shirt. He's like, yeah man, you know, I like your shirt but I don't like it. I was, I was busting tears and that was in a DMV. That was like a couple years back, I was busting tears, man. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I was crying hysterical. So I am very sensitive, and I'm very feminine. Now the thing is, I can't, like, this voice is normal, but I, it's not really my normal voice. I, I really hide it, and I really hide kind of like who I really am, because I'm afraid to show the world, because they will judge saying, Oh yeah, he's a gay guy, man. He's like nothing but a friggin' like a queer man. Look how he talks, man. Look how he acts, man. You know, and, and I want I'm sick of going through that, man. I'm I may be twenty four guys, but I have a thing about me. I might everyone can agree. When you go through so much damn fighting and shit in your life, you tend to get old in your old in your young age and you feel old. And I'm too old for it. <laughs> I, I, I I mean guys, I went through shit in my life and I'm way too old. To keep going through that shit when you have to be texting the people for the for the rest of eternity, and they're saying like, oh yeah, you, you stink, oh yeah, you suck, oh yeah, you this, oh you that, you this, and you can't do like a bad. It's like an endless waste of time. So I'm not gonna go through that, but I mean I do respect people's opinion of it still. Now the thing is, is that basically, um, maybe one day I will shout out who I really am. Maybe you never know. But I know I'm gonna get hated upon really bad. I'm like an Adam Lambert of feminine. <laughs> and that's even, no, I'm even worse than that. I'm like a, uh, um, I'm trying to think. There's like a celebrity, I can't think of his name. Who is he? Um, not a celebrity, it's like a cartoon character. But I'm more so like him. And that's how I pretty much sound. I'm a little more fit. It's weird, you know, I can't, I can't explain it. All I know is, is that basically I am a very feminine, I'm very sensitive, and I hide a lot behind cameras, so that's my dark secret you guys know about, because I am, the reason why I'm telling you now is because you're probably going to see it sooner or later, guys, it's to that point that I'm just going to freaking like snap and like unleash it forever. Now the thing is that my dad isn't like saying, damn it, you know, he don't like gay people, period, he don't like anybody, period. <laughs> oh, if you guys wondering, um, if you guys want any questions about how I how I am, or any questions I want to feel about, like how you guys want to know about me or my family, how we interact, so let me in the comments below and I'll get to you on that. I ran my down my memo so I won't forget. Now the thing is, is that, um, kitty, kitten, thing are identical, but no, they're not really. Thing is not so much, but kitten and kitty are a lot of identical to me. Now when you see the documentary, that is something I should tell you about, and I'm going to do a video after this. When I upload this one to YouTube, and it's pretty much like what I'm gonna explain what the documentary series is exactly going to be like, and you're gonna say yourself, yeah, it's not, it's not, but I will tell you, it will blow your freaking mind because everything you see, guys, I'm not like that freaking this dude here. I ain't like that little bitch. That guy really pisses me off, you know. Cause people who, cause he did like this video that if you want to commit suicide in real life and you need help, you know. Anybody who does that, they're cry for help. And, um, he did it for all your comments, get for his last video, to my opinion, which means really fucked up. And, knowing people now, they're gonna say, oh yeah, you're like me, check your nuggets. You're like, you wanna commit to it? You're, you're faking it, man, you're faking it. Most people aren't, guys. Most people are crying out for help, so I help them out, man. Now everyone's fake on YouTube, man. I ain't fake, no one else is fake, so 
I mean, like, not everyone, but, you know, most people aren't fake, so stop freaking telling people that are fake and making those judgment calls because, dude, guys, it's pointless, you know, seriously. It's proven nothing. So basically, I mean, and still, I mean, um, there's a person I know named Alex, and he says that Grandpa's fake, even if he is, which he's not. He, I, I don't believe he's fake. I, I don't believe it. And even if he is, I, I don't believe it. I mean... I know, but even if he is, I still get my angry grandpa. He's still grandpa to me, and that's the way it is. But I'll see you guys later. Um, all I know is, is that I'm doing the next video in a couple of minutes. I gotta upload this one because I'm running out of a lot of memory right now because I'm talking like this. It's still changing. So I'll see you guys later. And like I always say, the misunderstood. So like I always say, guys, the misunderstood. Like I always say, guys, the misunderstood. So I have a list, guys. Don't judge. We say, guys, the misunderstood soul. Yes. Signing out. Peace. Why, why the fuck am I battling? Why am I, am I some kind of prince drawing me? No. The hell are you? Wait, why the fuck am I bowing, dude? It's like, I'm kind of like, I don't want to say, um... I'll just say that I'm a prince. Princes are in, uh, era. Blah, blah, blah. Nah. Yeah, nah, nah, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this. See you guys later.